Hi everyone, Adriel from Active Demand here. Today we're going to go over getting started with contact lists and segments. Contact lists are available under the Contacts navigation menu. Lists further define your audience. For example, a list of all your current customers who live in Australia and made a purchase within three months. Here you can see both segments and lists shown. Lists can be static, which have a defined number of contacts and do not change unless you manually add or delete contacts from lists. Or lists can be dynamic, which, based on parameters, will add or remove contacts automatically. Next to each list, you have several options. You can edit, duplicate, download, archive, and delete the list. Some lists cannot be deleted. If you archive a list, and then need to make it active again, go to the Archive tab, find the list you need to retrieve, and click the back arrow. To create a segment, click the New Segment button on the top right of the window. Segments reduce repetition in creating lists by making smaller segments of parameter items you use often. So, for example, if you exclude the same set of countries from every list, instead of recreating that filter for every single contact list, create a single segment called Excluded Countries. Then use that segment with your lists whenever you create a new contact list. This reduces rework, makes it easier to do more complex segmentation. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at support at activedemand.com. Thanks for watching.